On this channel, I've made various videos talking about how to get opportunities as a developer. But there is one big problem. Platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn are just too generic. If you're a developer, it will be hard for you to connect with other like-minded developers, find amazing opportunities, and share your learnings on these platforms. And that's why I want to share with you one of the best ways for you to find great opportunities and connect with like-minded developers in 2022. You can do that with the help of Showcase. Showcase is a platform where you can connect with other like-minded developers. You can find amazing opportunities and you can also share your learnings. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and let's get started with Showcase. So this is what Showcase looks like as you can see on the screen. First of all, you need to log in for this platform. You can check out the link in the description to do that. Once you click on that, you need to connect your GitHub account with showcase and once you do that we need to focus on your showcase profile first of all you need to enter a good picture good background enter your name enter your headline if you are a student if you are a developer if you are learning a particular tech stack enter that over here and once you are done with that then we can move on to these tags so you can basically enter tags that resemble what you are currently doing right so software engineering github star creator open source machine learning engineer blogger looking for new opportunities if you are a founder, cloud engineer, and so much more as you can see on your screen right now. So you enter these tags that makes it really easy for other people to find you on Showcase. Next step is going to be to add all of your social profiles. If you are on other social media platforms then you can definitely do this. And then we have the about section. Just write about what skills have you learned along the way and why do you love development or just some things about you in general. So that's what you need to do over here. After that, you can take a look at the text stack. This is the most important part of this profile. Make sure that you fill in all the technologies that you are comfortable with. So as you can see, I have entered databases, frameworks. I am a Monstack developer, so that is what I have entered over here. What languages I have learned, machine learning, front-end frameworks, API tools. So let's say you are good with TensorFlow. So you can just search for TensorFlow and you can add that over here. And once you set up your tech stack, you can look at the positions. If you have already worked as a developer somewhere or in any other developer role, then you can put that over here. As you can see, I have worked as a coding instructor at an academy, so that is what I have put up over here. After that, you put up your credentials. This is basically all the courses that you've done so far in the field of development, and you also have a certificate to show for that. So you can enter that detail over here as you can see. Next we have repositories. This is the most important part of your entire profile. You can simply feature your projects that you are the most proud of on your own profile. Because this is connected with GitHub, this can easily get all of your repositories over here. Once you add all the repositories, this is basically how it would look like right here. Once you set up your profile, all of you will be getting your own domain name as you can see right here and you can share this with your recruiters and they can immediately see all the work that you've done, what tech stack do you work on and what projects you have, what positions you have, the credentials, repositories, everything they can view just with the help of this one link. You can also make it custom. So you can make it redirect to maybe ishansharma.com or your own custom domain name. And it is that easy by just sharing this one link right here. Now let's take a look at the home section. So here you can find all the different posts that people have. You can also make your own post. So I can say something like, hey, a few moments later, just an example, this is what I'm learning right now and I can just post this right here. I can also enter some media if I want to or I can also simply put in some code. I can ask some questions from the community. I can also mention some people if I want to. Uh, I can put up some GIFs and some polls and I can also schedule this post for whenever I want it to go live. You can view other people's posts, you can hide them, you can bookmark this post, you can comment and you can also boost this post. So once you're done with that, next part is going to be the shows and this is where people have shared their blogs, their learnings or just in general, long form content that you want to share with other developers. So as you can see, eight or six useful GitHub repositories for web developers. I can click on that and I can view this complete blog right here, right? Very minimalistic, simple approach, no ads, none of that stuff. You can also follow other developers right here so that all of their posts and their shows will be visible to you, right? Let's say you want to write your own show. So you simply can go over here to create 
you can click on new show and now you can write your own article and you can post it on showcase as you can see right here right you can enter all sorts of things over here new podcast new video new product new repository whatever it is that you are doing right now you can create that with the help of a show on showcase in the connect section you can simply connect with other like-minded developers you can see what is it that they are working on and you can also see the developers that they have worked with right so you can enter the developers that you have worked with personally and then they will also be visible when someone follows you which makes it a really nice network effect for you to find great developers to work with just to take an example let's say we click on wrongs profile right here i can go over here and click on the worked with tab right here and I can look at all the people that Rong has previously worked with. If I know Rong, I can then start connecting with these developers that he has previously worked with. This is a great way to establish trust and build a better circle of developers for you. You can also message developers if you want to. So once you follow them, you can simply just go into the send message area and you can just send messages saying, hey, new developer, whatever it is that you want to send, you can send with the help of this message feature as you can see right here. And now let's take a look at how to get jobs with the help of showcase. So you just need to go into the job section right here and you can take a look at the top developer jobs that are listed on showcase by other startups and other companies. You'll find a list of remote jobs that are available for you as a developer and the pay that they are offering right here. Right, so this is basically what you need to do. When you click on this, you can simply click on apply and that is how easy it is for you to apply with the help of showcase. Now let's take a look at communities. These are groups of developers that have something in common. So as you can see, that could be country, programming languages, careers and projects that they are building, some startups that they are working in, or they could also be just general, like as you can see memes or GitHub or open source. Just as an example, if you are into open source, then you can find this open source community where you can connect with other developers who are also interested to contribute to open source, right? So you can connect with them, you can message them, you can hard reply, you can also create your own posts over here. And this is basically what you get with the help of Showcase. I hope this video was insightful. I hope you got to learn something in this video. Do take a look at Showcase, start networking with people, create content, Share your learnings, learn in public. That is the most important thing that you should be doing if you want to get opportunities as a developer. If you have any questions about Showcase, let me know about that in the comment section as well. Do take a look at the link in the description and get started today. Thank you so much to Showcase for collaborating with me on this video. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.